So today, me and my son Ruben, say hello to the people Ruben. Hi people. We're going to attempt to build a center overhead console for my Hilux Bucky. Wish me luck. Okay, so the first thing or the first challenge that I'm facing is how to get this contoured line of the roof traced so that I can put that onto the material that I'm going to use to build this console. Now the best idea that I could have was to take a long piece of cardboard of a cardboard box like so and uh, I'm going to ask Ruben here to hold this for me against the roof. Ruben, hold this for me against the roof please. Okay. Like such. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to take a permanent marker which I taped to the end of a piece of wooden block and I only taped the other end as well so that it's smooth so when I rub it against the ceiling board or the roof it doesn't hurt the wood lining. Now what I'm going to do is start in front here like so. Ruben can we hold this a bit forward please? Thank you very much my son. Just like that. Okay so starting in front here I'm going to keep this wooden block against the ceiling while I trace the contour of the ceiling onto the cardboard like this and we're going to continue doing this all the way to the back where I want this console to end more or less thanks Ruben you can drop that one now okay so that's what it's going to look like I've got a contour of the roof or the hood lining now yeah and this I'm only going to cut out with a Stanley blade or a knife of some sort or scissor and then I'm going to trace this contour onto the piece of plywood, the thin plywood that I'm going to use to make the two sides of this uh, center console. So let me get around to doing this. I'm going to cut this out and trace it onto a piece of plywood and we'll get right back to it. Okay, so I've cut out the cardboard. I've traced that pattern onto the six millimeter or quarter inch more or less plywood. And uh, I've made the length of the entire console about um, one meter or 100 centimeters. Now this will put, fit perfectly onto the contour of the ceiling like this. This is only a bit of a gap. I can fix that with the next cutout that I do. But that is going to be the, the main idea. Ruben, will you hold this again for me please? Now the main thing for this test is to see that if I sit in the vehicle this is nowhere near my head where I'll hit my head if I'm driving or trying to move around inside so this is all good I can still clearly see the rearview mirror so it's not in the way of that which is all very well so this thank you very much Ruben you can sit there again you can you can get the main idea of what it's going to look like from the sign profile wise now obviously I'm going to cut some holes and patterns in the side here for access to the inside storage and uh, in the middle where the the roof lining light used to be I will also make a hole of some sort as well as in the back the center light so that both the lights can still be accessed and can shine clearly into the cabin um, I'm going obviously going to cut two of these one for either side of the center I'm going to make it about 25 centimeters wide um, and obviously cut holes into both sides put a bottom as well in the middle except for where the holes for the light are and uh, this should work very well. There should be sufficient space and so on. And um, after this is done, we'll see where we we'll go from there. Um, obviously, I'm going to connect the two sides with a piece of wood that's going to cover the hole here and in the back as well, so that this can be connected or or bolted to the roof through existing holes, so that it's not necessary to drill any new ones. Now the main way that I'm thinking of connecting it or attaching it to the roof is through the screw holes that are already in the hood lining in the front and rear for where the lights were. Now in front um, it was two self tapping screws but I decided since there were two holes in the lining or in the, in the frame of the car to put two uh, T-bolts or uh, rev nuts into the roof lining and I can simply screw in two bolts through the um, center console that I'm going to build to fit there. And in the back, there are four holes that um, are attached with uh, self tapping screws. And I'm also just going to put a piece of plank between the two sides and 
um, take long self tapping screws and um, put it in through the light and through the wood into the roof in the original holes and that should hold the whole build securely um, so let me go and saw another one of these as well as the pieces of wood that goes between it and the bottom ends with the holes for lights and everything and we'll see what it looks like and then we'll put it together alright so I've cut all the pieces of wood out that I needed and this will be what the overall look would or the whole project would look like in the end you can clearly see I've put a nice big hole in the side here accessible from both sides which is very nice there's a hole in the front here for the front light a hole in the back for the back light and in the back of the center console if I turn it like so sorry Ruben there is also access uh, keep hole for the rear seat passengers to put in either sunglasses or wallets or phones or anything of the sort this would be against the roof but uh, there's with a lip in front so nothing would slip out there's a nice storage space there as well let me turn it to the inside you'll see it's very very roughly rounded this is still going to be I'm planning on covering this with a carpet in the wood that goes against the ceiling I've drilled some big holes for the plugs and the wires of the lights to go through um, the same at the back big hole or the front rather this is the front for the plugs with the wires and everything to fit through um, for the bottom one I've put in some uh, a square piece of wood that I've cut and I've also rounded over the edges so it's nice and round it won't hurt your fingers or your hands when you put something in from the outside I've also just put a piece of a dull stick in the back here where the gap was a bit bigger and I've glued it in place and from the bottom it would look like this it's smooth this is the one hole at the back this would be the hole in the front now the main idea is that if I later in time want to perhaps thanks you want to help me hold it thank you if I perhaps this is where the light is going to be if I want to maybe incorporate a CB radio or a two-way radio of any sort I can do that as well yeah there's plenty, plenty of space with a lip so it won't easily fall out in front there um, so this is quite sufficient I'm very happy the way it's turned out um, the edges and so on are a slight but rounded and a slight but rounded off but this is going to be covered with carpet so this is going to have a much smoother finish so let me go and get the carpet ready I'm going to cover this with carpet some glue only stuck to the wood and the carpet stuck to that trim it off nicely and after that's done we'll come and install it and see what it looks like awesome okay so this is more or less the result what it looks like now that it's finished I did wrap it in some carpet as well I haven't, I've wrapped the outside, I haven't wrapped the inside quite yet. You'll see there's a bare spot still there and a bare spot still here. But the outside on both sides have been wrapped, the back and the front as well. Um, and the lights have been fitted as well. Now this is pretty sturdy, you can see me hitting this thing. It, it, it can take quite a lot of punishment and, to, and some proper weight inside there. You don't want to actually put weights in there, but, but for other things that's in your vehicle, this is more than sufficient. Um, the lights still work, you can still put the door light on and off, you can turn these lights on and off as well. They all work very well. Um, in the middle there's plenty of storage now. There's space, you can put your sunglasses there. Uh, you can put a torch there. Um, you can put your buffs there for wearing during the COVID pandemic. Um, there's a place for a lot of things. Um, you can put your cell phone in there if you wish. Um, let's put the sunglasses back and these things won't be able to fall out because it's got a nice steady lip and it will be out of your way there's nothing that's gonna be in your way while you're driving nice open and so on once again plenty of space for my head to clear I can still see the entire rearview mirror there's nothing in my way I can see behind me perfectly well so I'm very happy with the way this came out um, Ruben helped me quite a lot in this one, so that was quite handy to have my son with me. It's also still got a space in the back here, storage facility. Like for instance, if you want to put your sunglasses back here, you can. Um, uh, like Ruben is reminding me now, this has got access from both sides. You can see my hand through there. Easily accessible for the driver and the passenger. So yes, I'm very happy the way about the way this turned out. It looks quite nice with the carpet. Now it blends in better with the hood lining and with the carpentry and the carpets and the, the dash and the seats and everything it, it's, it blends in much much nicer so if you 
do like this project that we don't feel welcome to like and thumbs up the video uh, feel welcome to share and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet so from my side and from Ruben's side goodbye till next time say goodbye Ruben bye people